hi guys welcome to my channel guys today in this video i am going to show you that how you can make this beautiful responsive login form in just simple html css and using some bootstrap classes on the left side here we have our bootstrap slider with the heart images of a girl and on the right side here we have our member login heading and a paragraph and after that we have two input section one for the email and another one for the password and after that here we have one login button and after that if you don't have an account add a paragraph and after that we have a link registered here and guys this is uh, this login form is completely responsive and I hope guys you will like this video so okay guys let's get started guys first of all here we have two two file one for HTML one for CSS and some images that we used for our slider so okay guys let's get started but before starting with the bootstrap you have to copy the bootstrap started template from the get bootstrap website just copy the starter template from this website and paste it in your html file now remove this unwanted content from here and start building our login form i am starting with the section with the class of login and after that i am taking one container and inside this contain one row and for the slider I am taking four columns with the large screen and after that uh, right here we have to design this slider so I am using the carousel from the get bootstrap website inside the components here you can find different types of carousel sliders we have to copy this one and just paste it inside these columns now I am going to edit this uh, slider just putting an images and let me edit this uh, headings and paragraph I am going to copy this paragraph and paste it right over here and after that the another image and let me copy this paragraph and paste it right here so and the third image that we used in our slider and remove this heading and paragraph and now let me add some padding top and bottom to this container and now if we see the output so here is our output just our slider we get this uh, slider without this commas and this uh, name in the bottom now let me put uh, just this uh, name after this paragraph with the small tag just paste it right over here and this England is uh, with the orange color so let me use the spam tag right over here because we are going to edit the spam tag in our CSS just copy this and paste it after this paragraph now I am going to use this commas for that I am taking one i tag I am using this commas from the font awesome website and just copy this left commas and paste it in the end of this paragraph with the right comma with the right quotes and let me copy this and use it in our all of images that we used in our slider with the right and left quotes first of all the left one and in the end of this paragraph I am using the right quote this quotations and now if you see the art uh, before using this uh, font awesome uh, icons we have to use the font awesome link just copy this font awesome link <clears throat> if you are not sign in then please sign in and they will send you the this link in the form of kit and just paste it inside the head and now if we see the output let me refresh 
so here is our output and I am going to edit this uh, icons this quotation in our CSS uh, let me add some padding the padding right and is 3 and padding left is also 3 let me add it all this padding left and right in our of our in all of our uh, slides And now I'm adding some CSS to this HTML file. First of all, our universal tags, padding 0 and margin 0. And the box sizing is border box. First of all, I am uh, styling this uh, icons, this quotation marks with a class of FS. The font size will be 25 pixel. And let me link the CSS file in our HTML file. So now if I refresh this, now you can see this is our slider with the quotation marks. And our spam tag that we used in our HTML file, the color of uh, this spam tag will be orange. Now here you can see the England is orange as we have in another file. First of all, I am starting with the columns, 8 columns, and then I am taking one row, and inside this row, I am taking 7 columns, and we want this in, in center, so we put the margin left and right is auto. Copy this uh, heading, H1. And right here let me use the spam tag because we want uh, the color of the member is orange and after that the paragraph let me copy this paragraph and after that we have to design our form With the class of uh, padding top is 4 and after that I'm taking one form row and inside this form row I'm taking 12 columns for the one input section here is our input section with the class of uh, form control and the placeholder will be email and after that let me copy this uh, form row because we want the another input section the form row and our input section for the password using the same class form control and the placeholder of password So this is our two input sections and after that I am going to design our button button with the class of btn1 because we want to design this btn1 in our CSS so we take this btn1 class And after that we have want to take this don't have a don't have an account register here link so after this button I'm taking the small uh, tag and for the register here I am taking this anchor tag And before this anchor tag, here I am taking one spam tag 
because we want to design we want to color this anchor tag with the orange color so this is our HTML and now let me see the output so here is the output but this is not designed very well in our in our CSS first of all I am going to design this uh, in our CSS right here I am taking one class of padding top and bottom is 5 and uh, some padding top and bottom before this input section with the form row and I'm also adding some padding top to this form row and some margin bottom inside the button and margin top is 4 so now if we see the output so here is our output and let me take the break so we want the break between this button and this paragraph and now let me center the all this text in center text center so there is our HTML input and now I am going to design this in our CSS uh, first of all let me take one more class of log because we want the background color log background color is like gray color let me see the output so this is our output this uh, four column and eight columns are not attached together and we have to use one more bootstrap class this class will be no gutters so here is our output so let me change this gray color with some dark black color so here is output with the dark color and let me change this uh, text color inside this container text white Now if you see the output with the white text and now let me add some uh, font size to the H1 and the color of the H1 will be white and the font weight of the h1 will be 800 now if you see the output so here you can see the output this is little bit changed let me edit the let me design the input sections with the class of form control this is our class the input section the form control first of all the background color is gray and the color of the text will be white and the border is none and the outline will be none and adding some padding padding top is 23 and bottom is 23 pixel and the left and right is 10 pixel now let me edit the focus uh, control on this info input section whenever we focus on this input uh, section 
the background color will be changed to this color and there will be no outline and the color will be same as white so now if you see the output so here you can see the input sections color the background color is little bit uh, white so let me add some dark color so here you can see this is our input section this is designed very well and now And now let me design the button with the glass of BTN1. The background color will be orange. And the color of the text will be white. And the outline is none. And the border will be none. And the border radius is 50 pixel. And the height will be 50 pixel. And after that let me add some width to this button the width will be 110 pixel so here is the output for this button and let now let me design the small tag that we use in our input HTML form the color of the small will be white and the anchor tag the color of the anchor tag will be orange so this is our form and whenever we uh, put the cursor on this uh, anchor tag this that will be po pointer so here is the in HTML and CSS for this form and now let me refresh this form so here you can see this form is completely designed very well and this form is completely responsive you can see this in your mobile laptop and any type of touch screen for now this is all and if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thank you